Welcome to a short tutorial video on how to create your poster for the Science Fair. Go to the Science Fair website, click on the Projects tab, and choose Making and Printing Your Poster. Click on Template 1 to download the template. And because it's an AIT file or an Adobe Illustrator file, Google can't open it to show it to you, so you need to click on the Download button right here, and then save it. Of course, make sure you know where you're being, where you're saving it. I'm saving it to my desktop. Okay, so here it is. Adobe Illustrator is a fairly powerful program, and so it takes kind of a long time to open. So I'm just going to double click on the file and then wait. If you've never used Adobe Illustrator on your computer, it will probably take even longer to load because it may need to update. Be patient and close other programs. When you open it, you may find this error message. Click on ignore. Because you do need to have a logo, this is where the logo was supposed to be, but for some reason it's not there. It doesn't work correctly when we use the template. So I'm going to return to the Science Fair website, and on the same page, just below the video, you'll see that you can download the Science Fair logo, which is supposed to appear somewhere on your poster, and the ASFG logo, which should appear in the top right corner, that space where we deleted that blank box on the template. So I download both of those and save them to my desktop so I can find them easier later on. That's finished downloading. I come back to Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to delete that box. And I'm going to go up to File, Place. And from my desktop, that's Logo ASFG. Click on Place, drag it to the correct location. Notice that you see the green lines appear. That's just showing me that it's centered vertically along this box as well. I can also change the size of it. Um, if I do, I should always use the corner handles because I don't want to stretch the image out of shape. Then you'll use the same strategy to add the Science Fair logo and any other images that you would like to use. Then it's very simple. You can just edit the text fields that are here. I can change the color of that text if I don't like red. Go with a nice dark blue. I can change that to black. I don't like that it's two different colors right there. Okay, so in addition to changing the text boxes and things that are, that are, are still there, you can delete those things as well. Make sure you're using the, the selection tool, and then you can click on the path and delete it if you don't like it. Or you can undo, change the colors again. That's the background color. <laughs> I don't think we want pink. <laughs> um, choose the path and choose the path color. If you need something to be larger, again, making sure I'm on the selection tool, selecting the path, and then I can drag to make it a larger box, smaller box, etc. When your poster is finished and you no longer need to edit, you need to submit to the shared folder a JPEG of your final poster. To export as a JPEG, you click on the File menu, Export, make sure that it has a good name, and then change the format to JPEG. Click on Export and leave the defaults the way they are. You want the resolution to be high. That's the only thing you really need to make sure is correct. Then click OK and it will save. Upload it to the shared folder and pay for the printing and you will have your poster in time for the science fair. If you do not want to use the template for your poster, you would like to start from a blank poster, you can open up Adobe Illustrator on your computer by finding it through the spotlight and then click on File, New. Uh, again, you could give it a title and make sure that the number of artboards is one. Change the width units to centimeters. The default is usually pixels. So make sure your units is centimeters. The width is 75 centimeters and the height is 95 centimeters. 
then you can click OK. And that will bring you into an artboard that has the right dimensions for printing your poster. Again, when you're finished, you're going to click File, Export, and export it as a JPEG, the same way I did with the template. Thanks for watching.